Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing Marathon 2 and it's gonna be awesome. We have reached Sorry, Don't Make It So, which is a remix of the first game's level For Your Eyes Only, which was the first time I believe that we got teleported to the four ship. And this door does not open. Great. Whoa. And there's a bunch of uh, enforcers behind us. These are the new enforcer designs. And we get new alien weapons. So it's a good thing that I used up my alien weapon last level. Well, I didn't actually use it up entirely. I should actually finish using it up. Wow, I've got a fair bit of ammo for that. I'm going to use it up because there are two more of them here, so why not? And you can't reload them. You can only pick up a new one. Uh, that's a bunch of enemies. Bolts from this thing are rather slow. Also, there's no save point on this level, so... Yee, yee, yee. Ah, that is a lot of enemies. That is a lot of enemies. Grenades, grenades, and assault rifle, and missiles, and weapons. Lots of weapons. Kill things. All right, better. Hit us at one time, shield recharger. You may recognize this. There is actually, if you go back this way and hit the switch out here and then run back in here, there's an elevator which comes up through this stuff and gets you up there. But it doesn't actually take you to a secret location, I believe. It just takes you to a place late that you will have to visit anyway later in the level. So while you can ride that to get to that teleporter, I'd rather show you the entire level. So that's a shortcut. Eventually, we'll figure out where it goes to. That is another terminal up there. Which I should read. Once I finish lighting all these four on fire. Alright, what do you have to tell me, terminal? You're a Taiko terminal. I've taken complete control of your ship's network. Durandal's defenses were not as strong as he believed. Are you surprised that I allied myself with the four? You shouldn't be. The four rebuilt me. The colonists never did anything but use me. Taiko, realign microwave dish 49. Taiko, display the x-ray differentiation al analysis of sample 807. Taiko, run a lambda diagnostic on the ramjet's magnetic field apparatus. When the four annihilated Tau Ceti, I recorded the deaths of all 24,000 colonists as distinguishable spectrographic, uh, spectrographic pulses flooding over my sensors. The nine Mjolnir Mark IX cyborgs were easily separatable from the humans in this form. In the end, you will be no better. So you remember there were ten cyborgs on the marathon, but only nine of them died on Tau Ceti. Which is, again, more evidence that our character is the tenth cyborg. They pretty much dispense with any uh, illusions that your character is not the tenth Mjolnir cyborg in the third game. So. It's not really much of a spoiler, because the fact that you are is sort of a mystery, but never really... Ah, let's not fire the... Mi ah! Ow. All right, well, I'll be right back, because I haven't found a save point on this level. All right, we're back at the starting end of this hallway. Let's see if I can get down it without dying. Oh, something I didn't mention before, but is worth mentioning. If you kill the enforcers, those dudes that I, that dude I just killed with a weapon that does fire damage, or that lights them on fire like that, or an explosive, like a grenade or a missile, they don't drop their weapons. So you have to actually kill them with normal bullets if you want an alien weapon off of them. So, worth, no worth noting if you care about that. Which you probably will, because they're your only source of ammo in this level, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, whoa. Teleportation sounds are actually, ooh, some assault rifle ammo. Very useful. So apparently they're not my only source of ammo in this level. That's very good. Hey, a three times self recharger. Very useful right now. I need, still need a save point. There is a save point in the goo. 
Do I dare go down there and grab it? Yes, I do, because there's this three times health recharger right next to it. 65, saved. Let's get out of here and get our health recharged to three times here. Oh, I didn't even have to shoot him. He just walked into the goo and dies. Yay. Um, I think there is another secret in the plasma in one of the rooms, but I don't think it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the, uh... Yeah, the tunnel just leads between these two goo chambers. I don't think there's anything down there, but, you know, I've got the health to go and check. Nope, there's a door down here that doesn't open. So, let's get going. And stay out of plasma goo. Plasma. That's supposed to be plasma. I think. I'm not really positive. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I heard that. Alright. The rolls are reversed this time. Whoa! I have a missile. Haha! -ha, another missile. That's a quick way to clear a hallway. Gotcha. Thunk. Splat! That most satisfying of sounds. And another alien weapon. Yeah, they make noises before they teleport in. I don't know how they make noises before they teleport in. That seems very strange to me. Alright, well that's still locked. There's the room there we, uh, read the terminal earlier, so... There's that. If you wanted a shortcut out to this place, you could just jump off the ledge over there. And this is a big room full of stuff. down there, you'll see that there's a three times health recharger at the bottom of this pool. So if we jump in, we can use it. And it, while we take damage while we're using it, when it finishes getting used, we turn around and swim back up and get out of the pool. And we're about two and a half times normal HP. So it might be worth using if you need to recharge your health. more of these cyborg things. I'm actually running very low on assault rifle ammo. So I may not bother using more assault rifle ammo anytime soon. Okay, so that's... No, that's not the upside of that room that we were in earlier. I'm not sure what room that is. Well, for now, I'm not going down there because I don't know if there's a way out of there. And if there isn't, then that's just death. And I don't really want to have to jump all the way back to where we were before. Or are we all the way back up? This one. Given that it looks like this is a dead end, it seems that my only choice is to go down into that lava pit. Goo pit. Not a pretty day. Um, Alright, I am going to briefly pause the recording, go back, restore my health, save my game, and then come back here and continue on. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. So we are going to head this way, back up the staircase into the room with the giant pool of goo. So you do actually have to jump into this thing. Wonderful. Now, if we head to the right instead of the left, at the very bottom, there is a flamethrower and a bunch of flamethrower ammo, which ought to help us significantly in finishing this level, I hope. Hopefully I'm not going to burn to death before we manage it. It's a very nice looking flamethrower unit as well. I like the new texture for it. Aha! Out of the goo. Hit a save point. Very quickly. Not to die to- Ow, this guy. Uh, apparently I was wrong. I was gonna die to that guy. Alright. I may be at too low of a health again. Alright, let's try this again. Let's, let's fail this time, hopefully. This guy's grenades seek you, I believe. So be aware of that. 
This is one of the boss ah! owl cyborgs. You'll see a couple of them throughout the game. They're very nasty. They fire sneaking grenades. They hurt a lot. I'm very low on health. Yep. All of that, not a good combination. Especially since I'm almost out of the salt report. Also, they explode for a lot of damage. Yeah, this is gonna suck. A lot. Unfortunately, I don't believe that there is any place for us to get health back in here. So, yeah, our options are rather limited. Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna go back to my previous save and try to do this with a little bit more health. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back here, and I realized that there is a little- there's a passage off to the side at the first break in that thing. So I'm going to actually jump down here, grab the flamethrower, and at the first break over here, this bit here, I'm actually going to swim up and see if I can get out of this. I can! So let's see what's over here before we continue on towards that place that I was dying all the time before. Yeah, there's a big loop and some stuff, and it looks like there's a room in this. There you go. Let's see if there's a health restoration point. Restoration point? Restoration point. Oh! Well, that's how you get in here, okay? So we don't actually have to swim through all of the freaking lava. That is very good to know. It makes this substantially easier. Not lava, actually. I think it's a plasma, but still. We don't have to swim through the stuff that does damage to me continuously. Let's see what's in this other door over here. Because I don't know what's through it, either. Holy crud, that's a lot of four. That's what's in it. It's a room full of enemies. Have some alien weapons. And some flamethrower. And a few grenades. I am superior at grenading. Uh, okay, so that's another place that you can get up from the lava path thing. The whatever, the liquid path. If we come over here, there's another door into this room. I am expecting to get jumped in a moment. <laughs> oh man, that feels good. Just hose a room down in napalm because I can. Flamethrower is really good against organic enemies. Not good against these guys. These guys are, I believe, immune to flamethrower damage, so. Not so good against them. But great against the normal four. You'll notice that our, uh. Motion detector is misfiring. Apparently that was something that uh, Randall was not able to fix in the intervening, like, 20 years. Or just didn't feel it was worth fixing, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Still haven't found a place to heal myself. care of. Uh, okay, so this is the very far end of that. Alright. Let's keep going this way. See if there's anything else down here. Ah. There's a tank enemy here. Do not like. That's another one down, and I'm trying not to die, so that's why I'm not talking very much. Whoa. Missile launcher time. Oh, 
I guess they're not immune to flamethrower ammo damage. So that's the other way into this room. Alright, so we've now gone all the way around. And ended up really low on HP because there doesn't seem to be any place to restore your health in this area. <sighs> well, this might end very badly. Like, very, very badly. Oh, there's a place I haven't been over there. I very much doubt I can make it that far, and I will probably die trying. <laughs> yep. well, there's an area I haven't been to, which is a little odd. Reload. Yeah, so it's... Let me see. I can get there, I think. Going to there and running across to there. Probably. I would assume that this place still has the low gravity, so we might be able to use the flamethrower as a jetpack again. Yep, so we make it to there and then over to here. Where there is a double health restorer. Yay! Huzzah! Alright, let's see if I can make it back without actually using flamethrower ammo. I can! Okay, so I don't actually need the flamethrower ammo. Good. I took a little tiny bit of damage from the touching the goo there, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Let's go find that save point and get the heck out of here. Save point and terminal and get me the heck off of this level! Oh, there it is. Okay. Save game number 70! And we have a terminal! Uh, RE endpoint not in polygon, fro endpoint index, polygon IING, the shipped index, polygot, believe everything index, transparent, polygon, polygon data. I don't, I, I mean, it's obviously supposed to be random garbage text, but some of that I believe is reference to the way that the game is designed, because all of the rooms are built with polygon construction, and there are some various errors that you can get, and it wouldn't surprise me if some of that is related to that. Tycho is infiltrating the ship. Don't believe everything you read. And we've got some broken up bits of the Tycho is, in, is uh, infiltrating the, the ship message inside of the error message, and some other stuff. Execute line data, struct word, cross product... Tempo switch bias. You were inadvertently transported to an abandoned and unimportant section of the ship, but the four followed you anyway. Someone's after you, personally. One word, two syllables. Rhymes with psycho. More of the garbage data. The humans sustained heavy losses while you were gone, and our defenses are falling apart, but the evacuation is not yet complete. Let me get teleported out. From sorry, don't make it so. now arrive at For Carnage, Apply Within. So I've been Alucia. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time as we continue to make our way through an alien starship being attacked by aliens around an alien world. You know, that sounds like, I don't know. That sounds like a very strange premise for a movie. I'll see you guys next time.